And that is why this stack right here is easily worth two grand. Now, if you thought that was exciting, I've got even more exciting stuff for you. And you're like, CBM, what could be more exciting than that, than that huge stack of Snap Indie Key Comics? It was just like so many keys in this stack of like, what was it, 10 or 11? You're like, what's bigger than that? Normally I don't get too excited about raw books. I usually save that for my key slab books. But I've got some heat. This is straight gas right here. So, there's three books that I'm about to show you, and they're all on fire. And I'm going to start off with... I just want to be careful with this book. Ice Cream Man, Issue 1. First print. This book is gorgeous. It is beautiful. I love the artwork on it. It is like beautiful, creepy, and eerie all at the same time. I got this book for a really good deal. I want to say $155 to $175. But this book right now on eBay, you're not going to find it for any cheaper than $300. If you do find it for any cheaper than $300, I say get it. Issue 1 was definitely a low print. This definitely had a very, very low print run. And it wasn't a big seller at first. And I'm sure a lot of these books were just returned back to image and then disposed of. And so you, it's going to be really hard to find one in good condition. And even in bad condition, they're expensive, much less in good condition. So if you find one in good condition at a good deal, snag it up because I think it's a great investment. It's a horror anthology. Each individual issue is a separate story, so you can read issue one and get the story, or you can read issue 25 and still get the story. You know, they're not connected. And it got picked up, I believe, by Peacock, an ongoing TV show. But it's a great investment. I love it. It's got a huge cult following. The artwork is great. It's really colorful. And I can't express how much I love the artwork and how excited I am to get into that horror series. Okay, I've got another raw book that I'm highly excited about. And I cannot believe how excited I'm getting about raw, ungraded books. But I found all of them in like, I want to say Ice Cream Man. It's easily a 9.4, 9.6, or 9.8. It's sort of in the middle of the book, but it's like one tick mark and one impression right below it. But uh, up next, I've got one of my favorite comic books of all time. This series is what got me into indie comic books. This series is what got people into speculating. This is the biggest indie comic book series of all time. There's nothing bigger than The Walking Dead. Invincible, it's not bigger than this. There's just nothing bigger than the series. The Walking Dead when it comes to indie comic books. And um, right here is Walking Dead issue two. Um, at first, the seller wanted 500. I then seen them drop the price to 300. I then talked them down to 250 or 255. And I'm just glad I didn't have to pay 275 or up for this book. And right now on eBay, you're not gonna find this book for any cheaper than $550. Buying this book will definitely help increase the value of your comic book collection, for sure. And it is a good book to invest in because I think Walking Dead still has, guess what, room to grow. Um, I know during the summer, Walking Dead had a high sale of like $4,750 on eBay. It was a 9.8. I'm not sure if it was signed or not signed, but it sold for $4,750. And I know the last few sales of Walking Dead issue one has been about $3,900. Getting $3,900 for a modern age comic book is amazing. What's amazing about Walking Dead issue one to me is that there was only about, I think there was maybe a total, maybe a total of almost 7,000 ordered by retailers. There was only 1,400 that had the black label on it. And Walking Dead issue one was not something that was really as popular as it is today. 
It wasn't something that was, you know, a, a smash breakthrough hit as soon as it came out. So a lot of those issue ones got, again, sent back to Image and most likely destroyed and disposed of. So I don't think there's six or 7,000 copies of Walking Dead issue one out there. I think it's far less. I think it's like three or 4,000 copies of Walking Dead issue one. I'm hoping like at least 4,000 survive. But issue two had an even lower print run and there was even less ordered by retailers than issue one. If you love Walking Dead, if you love the comic book series, like I said before, there's still plenty of room for that series to grow in price, in value. I wish I would have had picked up two copies of Walking Dead issue one. I remember right before the show debuted season one, it was a $200 comic book. And then after season one debuted, it went from 200 to 500 to 1,000 and it never looked back. It's still not too late to invest in no one ever imagined that it was going to be a $2,000 comic, but then it became a $2,000 comic, and then a $3,000 comic, and a $4,000 comic. I think one day, Walking Dead Issue 1 is going to hit ten grand. And Walking Dead Issue 2, it's a $550 book right now on eBay. Don't be surprised if one day you see it for like, you know, back to its old price of being worth a thousand. If you've got love for Walking Dead, it, like I said, it's not too late to invest into it and jump, you know, on that boat still. Try to get a copy of issue one for less than $1,500. Try to get a copy of issue two for less than $500. Walking Dead is a cornerstone to your comic book collection. It is a foundational, not only issue one is not only a foundational comic book, but it is a foundational series. Um, you could really build your whole comic book collection around the Walking Dead series. I can't say enough about that series. So with that said, enough about the Walking Dead. And on to the next comic book series, which is being actually hyped up as the next Walking Dead. And I believe it's because it's a horror series and also has a strong leading character. And there's a lot of hype with the comic book before it was even released. As soon as that book was released, there was a lot of hype about, oh, there's a show, you know, it was op optioned and picked up by Netflix. And without any further ado, I just want to show you guys this book. You know, the book that a lot of people are claiming is the next Walking Dead. And I imagine it's also got to be a good read. Something is Killing the Children, issue one by Boom Studios. Take a close look, people. It is gorgeous, and I am really happy and proud to have this book in my collection, to be the owner of this book. And um, I jumped on this book extremely late. Um, I, I think this book came out in 2019 or 2020. When I found out about this series, or really, you know, caught wind of it during all the comic book hype during the pandemic and people were calling it the next Walking Dead and that it had a really strong lead character and there was a lot of character development and a lot of story and plot development and Boom Studios really took his time with the with the plot and, and took his time to develop it and anytime the plot went kind of dry or there was a transition in the plot they kind of took a little break to really make sure that the next volume or the next story arc to the series really was well written. And so when I heard how much time and effort they were putting into the development of this comic book series, it, it sparked my interest. And um, I was like, well, let me see what it's about. You know, it is getting picked up by Netflix and anything that's optional. I don't care if it's Netflix or Amazon, as you can see. I get those indie keys and it caught my interest. I was like, what is up with this comic book series that everyone is talking about? This is one with a really long winded comic book title. And I remember everyone kept comparing it to Walking Dead. And I don't know if that's because it's a horror title or because it has a really strong lead character. And I do know that there was a lot of hype before the book came out. And it sold out instantly. I remember 
not even contemplating trying to get an issue one because they were all like gone by the time I got to the comic book store, which was crappy. But I wish I would have been more persistent with this book and maybe picked up the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth prints of that book because even printing number eight is worth quite a bit of money. So I wish I would have, you know, just had tried to just attain, you know, issue one, even though I couldn't get my hands on the first print at that time. But I really didn't pay too much attention to the comic book series. And then um, around somewhere around 2021, during the peak of the pandemic, I heard all the talk about the book. And like I said, it, it sparked my curiosity. So I started looking it up on eBay and I could see that the raw copies were selling for like six to nine hundred dollars and graded copies at a 9.8 were selling for like a ridiculous price, like 12 to 17, 18 hundred dollars for a 9.8. And they were just flying off the shelf. You know, the bidding was going bananas on the auctions and no one was budgeting on their prices. There wasn't too many best offers available. But one night, really late at night, I found a, a seller. It was a female. It was a, she had posted um, something was killing the children. I think it must have been like at 2 in the morning and I got the notification. I, I think her asking price was like $500. Always try to offer, when you find a comic that's in the condition you want it in, always try to offer what I call a reasonable low ball price. So I offered her $300. And she took it, and I couldn't believe it. And I was like, something's got to be wrong with this book. I, I, I looked at it, you know, as, as closely as I could, but I was really skeptical about it. I, I, was, I thought it was going to get him be in really bad condition and be like a 9-0 at best or something, but this book is absolutely gorgeous. It looks flawless and perfect. It looks like it's going to grade a 9-6 to a 9-8, a 9-8 easily. I'm going to get it pressed and clean before I get it graded. I'm just really glad and happy that I was able to get this book. And I feel like that was a good entry price and, and a good low price for this book, especially at that time. And I know that this book has kind of taken a dip during this comic book recession, but it has not dipped below 300. And I think it's kind of like, there's been some market correction pricing on this book. And I think that price is 300 and I don't think it's going to ever get below 300 I still see it selling for like four to 500 in high grade. I'm really invested big time into this series, even though I haven't read it. But I do almost have the whole complete series and a lot of variants. I am missing issues four and five and seven and eight. So I'm trying to get those four issues and then I'll have the complete series. I think it is a good investment. If you can get this book for 300 or under, make sure you try to get it before the Netflix show drops, even before the trailer drops, because once that trailer drops, actually, once they announce the actors and like the director, you know, this book is going to soar again through the roof and try to get it now while you can in this like comic book recession and try to get it like, like I said, for 300 and under. And I think once that Netflix show comes out, it's going to be hyped up again and take off like a rocket to the moon. And I highly suggest this book, not mainly as an investment, because like I said, I haven't read it. But I know a lot of people, a ton of people that just seem to love this title. And so I suggest, invest. I think it's a safe bet. But with all that said, and I, I do plan on reading this series. I do want to read something that's coming to children. I'm going to buy the Omnibus and I'm going to read the complete series. And I, I, I'm really excited about that because I, like I said, I have heard that they develop the characters, the story. You know, they take time out to really develop the next story arc. I'm really looking forward to it and I'm really looking forward to when the show comes out and seeing how well this book is going to do and how much how much hype is going to be behind this book? I think it is going to be really hyped up when news of that show is coming out. And Netflix, sometimes with Netflix, 
You won't hear nothing about the project for the longest, and then out of nowhere, boom. Oh, here's the show, and it's dropping this week. So, um, and then next thing you know, the comment just soars through the roof. But with that said, that is it for this unboxing. Um, glad you stuck around for the whole thing. I hope you enjoyed the ending and the main finales. And, you know, that's it. And if you like what you see, click like, subscribe, leave a comment down below and hit that notification button. Because I'm going to continue to be doing big videos like this. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I only invest in big key comics. I mean, this was a huge, huge unboxing. And it took forever. But please, if you like what you see here, click like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Hit that notification button. Because I'm going to be doing a ton more of comic book videos.